Good evening everybody, it's Valerie Ling here. I'm a clinical psychologist and very often the person speaking to you about burnout prevention. I am um, just about to hop out of my car all rugged up because I'm about to go and collect someone very special and go for an evening walk in this freezing weather. I did think maybe we could attempt to go a bit earlier but our schedules do not allow for that. Um, so here we are, just about to go for a walk. I'm hopping on very quickly because I just want to say something that um, has been uh, going around in my head today and that is rest is not enough. Rest is not enough. So I was at a first responders mental health symposium uh, over the week and um, quite a lot of what I observed was being said was a concern about how to increase mental health resilience in the midst of um, such a grueling and challenging work circumstances. And of course, my, my take on that, and it, it was also the take of the others there, is individual resilience is one thing. We need to work on culture, um, the way work is done, organizational dynamics and all of that. But very often, I think one of the misnomers that I come across in burnout work is that um, rest is all that we need. You know, just, you know, basically um, having some time out and going for rest. Now, I want to say that rest is very, very important, particularly when you are already at that last um, fuelage uh, uh, bar, if you like, and you are indeed burnt out. Uh, you, it's not just rest that is recovered, uh, that is required, but very often professional help as well. But I want to say that equally what is important is recovery. Recovery is really, really important if you want to sustain a high energy, a high emotion, um, high caring role. So whatever your burnout is coming from, I think lately these days we can see that whether it's a situation where high energy and high impact work is burning you out or whether a high level of caring for other people is burning you out. Well, whatever the source of the burn is, recovery is really really important and I think very often my observation is that people don't seem to have uh, intimate insight into what they need to recover what do I mean by that so what I mean by that is when you are a uh, coming out or going into a really high energy zone I don't like the word busy but you know that your diary is packed you've got uh, several things coming up during the week and the month then we need to actually put some recovery plans for the for after and also entry plans for entering into that period uh, recovery also needs to happen at a point in time where you are going through periods of growth or where there are a lot of new things happening, where there requires quite a lot of your cognitive resources, but also a lot of your emotional stamina, you know, the ability to have that positive self talk. You want to also have some recovery plans during that period. So being able to recover on a day-to-day -day basis as well as a seasonal basis. So what do I mean by day-to-day -day recovery? Well, you got to know your own brand. What do you need to recover from a high energy, high impact, high caring day? What's important to you? Is it sleep? Is it a little bit of hobby time? Is it connection time? Is it um, letting go of certain things that uh, you, you might want to hurry on to? What is that? It's also really important to know your seasonal recovery patterns and styles. Uh, so for me personally, um, I, I know during the year what's going to be a very high impact, high energy, high caring space in my diary. And it's really important for me to actually have recovery time. Very often for me, that actually means my personal brand of it is actually moving away from the screens. I'm not actually putting myself in front of issues. I'm very good at putting myself in front of issues because that will cause me to feel like I want to fix and solve everything. And also very often I need to actually tap into different roles and identities that aren't my work roles. So heavily leaning into some other spaces, whether it's being creative, whether it's being um, outdoors, um, whatever. So that's different from rest, right? Because I think rest is that thing where we almost come to an all stop, whereas recovery is an adjustment. We actually take some time to actually figure out what do I need 
uh, where are my energy levels? What resources are depleted in my world? And how do I actually meet those resources? So please uh, have a think about your recovery patterns, not just your rest patterns. All right, time to go. I'm a little late.